Welcome to this video on microteachers. Uh, this is part of the Doctor of Teacher module. It might be a new concept for some of you. Um, it is not just a really, really, really small teaching session. It's a concept that will help you learn. Uh, my name is Dr. Russell Hearn, and I'm going to talk to you about this for about 10 minutes. This may get somewhat meta, uh, insert inception sound, as I'm essentially doing a microteach about microteachers. So I'm going to start off with some learning outcomes for today's session, which include understanding what is a microteach. It is not hard. Um, what makes a good microteach? Um, consider how your microteaching can help you improve your teaching skills, and then work out what might be an appropriate topic for a microteach that you're going to do later this term. So initially, uh, what is a microteach? It is a short teaching session designed to help you demonstrate your teaching skills and to act as a platform to receive feedback enabling you to improve. Um, it's an opportunity to get some experience teaching, put into practice some of the theories and skills, and also an opportunity for you to give feedback to others. Um, it is a focus on teaching, it is not really about the content. So it could be a medical topic, it could be a non-medical topic. For the Doctor's Teacher module, we're going to ask you to teach about a non-medical topic because that helps remove some of the uh, hierarchy that some people in the room might know more about something than another person and the concept that some people should know about medical topics. So if you choose something non-medical, um, it's going to let us focus a little bit more on the teaching. Um, to talk a little bit about how you might reflect on your teaching, um, I'm going to just dip into a little bit of educational theory and begin with a spectrum. This is the process continuum uh, that ranges from doing um, to watching. And in the microteach sessions, you're going to have an opportunity to do a microteach. On the opposite side, you're going to have an opportunity to watch several microteachers. Um, that's going to allow you to be an active experimenter and also do some reflective observation on what other people are doing. On our perception continuum, we've got feeling versus thinking, um, subjective and objective terms. Um, so reflecting on how the process went. Um, other people are going to talk to you about this as part of the Doctor's Teacher module. Um, but this cycle of learning is called Kolb's experiential cycle. And as part of the microteach session, you'll get an opportunity to spend some time in each of those quadrants as uh, observer or as person giving feedback or as the person having done the teaching and that will hopefully help you learn to be better and this can be applied to all sorts of learning not just teaching learning but actually medical learning as well. Some specific logistics about the doctor's teacher module um, in real life this can be online um, or in real life we are going to do these online this year due to covid um, each person will have 10 minutes to do a teaching session, and that is literally 10 minutes, not more. You'll be gonged off at the 10-minute point. Hopefully somebody in the group will give you a reminder at 8 minutes. Your groups will have 5 or 6 students in and one facilitator to help guide you and structure feedback. And after the 10-minute teaching session, you'll have 5 minutes to discuss how the session went and to get some feedback or discuss how you felt it went yourself. Um, each member of the group is going to take turns, so that will mean a session will take about 90 minutes. Um, your facilitator will guide you, but other roles in the group might include somebody to help time or warn somebody as they're approaching the end. Somebody should be designated before you start to lead the feedback for the person doing the teaching. Um, somebody should also be agreeable to completing a feedback form. These are the forms that you're going to need to put in your reflective essay. And finally, near the end of the session, you might want to assign somebody to give feedback on the feedback the person is giving to the person teaching. Again, we get a little bit meta in some concepts. This is called a fishbowl, where you're actually watching an activity, getting feedback, and giving feedback on the feedback. A little bit confusing. Um, what to put in your microteach? So we're going to ask you to choose a non-medical topic. It should be interesting. It should be engaging. Um, it should allow you to demonstrate your teaching skills. So do something that will provide that forum. A very theoretical top topic doesn't work, and you're going to have to think about how practical the topic can be, given that it's going to be online. It's an opportunity, rare as they may be at medical school, to express your individuality. So let us know what your passions are. If it's languages or dance or yoga um, or sailing, whatever it is, um, tell us something interesting about you. When you're delivering your session, um, you can use some slides. Um, you should think about methods of engaging your audience, asking them questions, using some of the online tools. And our session on online learning might be useful for you to think about that as well. 
If you want, it can be a practical session, but you need to think what will most people have available to them. So if, for example, you chose to choose to teach origami, most people will have a piece of A4 lying around where they are studying that they could use. However, please don't teach origami because everybody else will be teaching origami. Um, if too many people choose to do that, it will be six sessions on origami. I'm going to give you some examples of things that other people have done in the past. The classic is the origami. It is a good structured skill that you can run through in a short period of time. Other things might include tying a bow tie. A medical one might be how to insert a nasogastric tube. Don't try it at home. Um, making chocolate truffles or a cooking activity. Throwing a quick ball, serving in tennis, tying a figure eight knot. Um, all of these things, simple short skills or activities or learning points. What will happen if there's a duplicate in your group? If one other person has already taught the same thing as you, don't worry about it. When you do it and you're the second person, the group is at a slightly higher level, you're going to be able to take them even further. So have a backup plan if somebody has already taught the group how to make a paper crane. Um, it is again about your teaching style, interaction, um, rapport building, helping people learn, not necessarily the topic. So don't worry about it too much. A good teaching session is normally planned. Um, you should try and use a performer. We put one on Keats and your activity for the day is to have a look at that and maybe draft out a plan for your microteach. Um, as part of that, you'll need to define your learning, learning outcomes um, and think about what you're going to put in the start, the intro, the middle, the body, and the end, the summary, and questioning about your session. Um, include some timings in your lesson plan and have an idea of how long you're going to spend on what. Think about what your extension work might be. So if somebody has nailed that origami crane, where are you going to signpost them to find new and exciting things to fold with paper? Um, think about your accessibility. So use slides that are clear, um, not too many words, um, concepts that are easy to understand, and make sure you are visible for the camera, audible, and that your learners can understand what you're talking about. Few top tips for you, less is more. The biggest mistake people do with micro teachers is having too much content for only a short period of time. So don't include too much. Choose a topic that's amenable to a quick, simple teaching session that most people will be interested by. Keep it as simple as possible. Have a plan, use that uh, lesson plan that we've signposted you to. Don't rush. Um, if you're trying to do too much in your session again, Learners won't keep up, they won't understand, they won't find it interesting. Try and get some interaction with the group. This is hard, I understand, in an online setting, but do try and make sure your people are engaged and encouraged to interact and leave time for questions at the end. Um, I would suggest you run through it in advance, uh, at least have a good idea of how the timing's gonna work and how it will go. Um, try it with some friends, your family, your friends, if you have friends, I had a friend. Um, don't overload the slides. So short, simple bullet points. This slide that I'm presenting to you now is almost too busy. Um, but the rule of 10 often works. No more than 10 lines, no more than 10 words per, per line. Uh, try to combat the distance that's inherent to online learning as best as you can. This is a challenge. If you're not teaching, be an active participant in the group, pay attention um, and give some useful feedback. Speaking of feedback, on Keats, you'll find this instruction guide to how to be an active observer and how to give useful feedback. You'll also find uh, copies of the form that you're going to need to complete um, for each other and also that you will need to include in your essay, which will be part of your assessment for the module. A few other things that you might want to have a look at. Um, look at the other sessions in the Doctor of Series Teacher that are coming up on small group facilitation, giving and receiving feedback, and how to make online le learning interactive and engaging. Also, have a look at YouTube. It's filled with short videos that are teaching sessions, which are basically high-quality micro-teachers on topics of various activities and things. So, little summary for you. Um, micro-teachers allow you to practice ticking all the teaching best practice boxes, gain insight into how you teach and how you can best support others' learning. Uh, final reminder, less is more. Uh, minimize your content. Um, if you've got uh, any questions or feedback, um, then do let me know. Um, my email is below and I hope you enjoy your micro teaching sessions when they happen later this term.